Well, welcome to Live Your Dream TV, the coolest place on the web for entrepreneurs to be inspired, educated, and entertained. My name is Tara Carbo, and I'm here today with Dr. Stephen Barron, and we are in his center right now. This is the Bay State Chiropractic Center right here in Ellicott City on Frederick Road. In Catonsville. In Catonsville. He's fantastic. You have to come and meet him. I, I've totally changed my, um, my whole mind about the chiropractic world. I had no idea it was so vast and, and fulfilling. So tell us a little bit about what you do and, 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 and what, I guess maybe open the minds of, of what chiropractic really is all about because you do far more than I thought was, was available. You're right, Tara. A lot of people think that chiropractics, chiropractors are back doctors mm -hmm. <laughs> and that chiropractic is about the spine. And yeah. let's not minimize that. Right. The spine is the center of the body. The nervous system mm -hmm. travels through the spine. It goes from the brain to the rest of the body by way of the spine. And most people will tell you that the nervous system controls, the brain controls everything else. So mm -hmm. we don't want to minimize that. Sure. But the chiropractic profession was started many years ago, 1895. Mm. And it deals with the entire person, with the body. It deals with the bones, the joints, the head, the insides, the, the, uh, all the organ systems, wow. and most importantly, how it all works together. Okay, right. So it's not a matter of looking at the spine and adjusting it, although that's incredibly important, mm -hmm. but also finding out what else is involved. Right. If a patient comes in and they're having pain and they're having stomach pain, it could be that the nerves going to that organ or, or to that part of the body are compromised, and by correcting that, we help alleviate the problem. But we live in a world we also, where we also have to work with where the patient is now. Is it a gallbladder problem? Is it a stomach problem? Is it a, is it a, um, in a female? Is it a female problem? Right. What exact? What organ system is acting up? Yes, yes. And chiropractors are trained in diagnostic techniques where we're able to, same as any other doctor, to find out where the problem is. Yeah. So if your problem is a chiropractic problem, you stay here. Mm -hmm. If your problem is a non-chiropractic problem, chiropractors as primary care providers are able to send you where you need to go. And I had no idea that a chiropractor could be a primary care provider, um, which is really neat. And, and it would never have crossed my mind that if you had a stomach problem or if you had um, a leg problem or something, and maybe, maybe that's just me, but I had no idea you would, you would be able to come here. So um, what makes you unique? Because we've talked about nutrition, we've talked about some of your um, perspectives, and, and I want to just talk about Dr. Barron for a minute. I'm board certified in chiropractic orthopedics. Okay. Uh, a lot of doc. Why do I say board certified? A lot of doctors mm -hmm. will specialize in an area or announce a specialty in an area, but they haven't gone through the rigors of taking the oral and the written examinations, mm -hmm. the national certifications, and being able to say that I'm documented to be yeah. able to do these things. Yeah. I'm one of three in the Baltimore, uh, Columbia area, I believe, and I've been in practice now for 30, 31 years. Yes. I have a background in sports and okay. a background in nutrition. Um, and in 30 years, you can pick it. You you can you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. One of my philosophies of of of, of health care is that no doctor cures anything. Hmm. We put the body in a position. We allow the body or that person to heal. I love that. I love that. Awesome. Well, let's go check out the rest of the facility and talk about some other things in the back. Great. Awesome. Okay, we're back. Where are we, Dr. Barron, in the facility? This is the central room. Okay. Uh, everybody goes every place from here. This is my low-tech re rehab room. As we get older, we don't do the things that we used to do mm -hmm. instinctively. As teenagers or kids, we were all over the place. Yeah. And one of the reasons, I believe, why people get ill physically or from the physical body and also on the inside is that they're not doing the exercises that they used to do. Yeah. They're not keeping those muscles in tone, the little ones, the big ones. And so by doing some simple things, after we bring a patient into this room, they do some rehabilitative exercises in okay. conjunction with other areas, okay. other adjustments. Yeah. Then I teach them how to do it at home so they can take it with them. So perfect. they don't get back to why they came to see me. Okay, perfect. And guys, when we were in the waiting room, we talked a little bit about how Dr. Barron um, sets the body up so that it can succeed, so that it can um, repair and, and self-heal. So let's talk a little bit about homeostasis and, and how you play a part in, in doing that. Well, again, no doctor, in my opinion, ever cured anything. Mm -hmm. All we do is put the body in a position, the magnificent body, to heal itself. Yes. The body contains everything it needs to heal itself, yep. 
unless we manage to screw it up. Okay. And we do. And it's, is it very easy to oh, knock the easy. body out of balance? It's very okay. easy. Well, it gets easier and easier in an in a to increasingly toxic world. Mm -hmm. uh, stress. I mean, look at the stress that we're all under now that we weren't under 20, right. 30, 40 years ago. Right. Self-treating. I don't know how many times I see people coming in here from a chiropractic standpoint as a last resort. They've been everywhere else. They should have been here first, but they've been everywhere right. else first, and they've self medic they self treated because they're looking at the wrong problem. Yes, they're looking at their problem as pain. Yes, pain never has been, never is, and never will be their problem. Yeah, any more than the oil light in your car. Yes. Is the problem. This is great. Dr. Brand has an excellent description and word picture for what pain is. And, um, you know, it's such a blanket statement. Well, like if something hurts, I have pain. Um, so tell us how you describe pain. Well, uh, the continuing with that analogy, yeah. you have to be four or five quarts of oil low before your body even tells you about it. Mm. Pain is very unreliable. Most people have had a paper cut. And most people who have had one will tell you it's pretty excruciating. <laughs> but the severity of a pain cut, nobody ever died of a paper cut. Right. Infection, yes, but that's another issue. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever died of a paper cut, but look at all the diseases that have no pain or have no pain till the end. High blood pressure. Okay. Paper cuts won't kill you, high blood pressure will. Mm. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer, the list goes on and on and on. Right. And if you're looking at pain as the, the instigator for whether you're going to get treatment, then problems get a lot worse than they have to. If we start up here as total health, okay, and you have a problem, mm -hmm. you never, ever, ever get back to 100%. If you're lucky, with good care, you get back up to 90 to 95%. Wow. The episode goes away. The next time you have an episode, you come back up to 90 95%, 90 95%. Wow. Okay? Five, six, seven, ten episodes, you're 70% of where you used to be. You're not at total health. You're not at optimum health. Okay, and so we can eventually get back with chiropractic and nutrition and supplemental care. Can we get back to 100? Sometimes. Okay. I can't put back what's no longer there. Somebody who comes into me, more common than you would think, with a degenerated disc. Mm. Okay? They've had off and on pain for years, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. They treated it with aspirin, whatever it happens to be, and they come in, right. and the pain went away, so they thought the problem went away. Mm -hmm. But it continues to deteriorate, and if it's 50, 60, 70% sure. deteriorated, wow. I can't put back what's no longer there. Right. And as an aside, the disc surgery doesn't work all that well. Not and they just thought, well, they were having this pain, and they didn't know what to do about it, and they tried the heating pads. They thought, that they <laughs> thought the pain was the problem. Yeah. So when they come in to see me, now they may, if they've waited long enough, they have a huge problem because that nerve is being physically or chemically impinged or, or pinched by that degenerated wow. joint. So I'm excited about making my appointment to come in, but what is great is that Dr. Barron is going to be at the Women's Expo this year, and he's going to be able to give us a little taste of um, you know what's going on in our body, just as people walk in through the Expo. Right. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing. We today. have a nice piece of technology. It's called a myovision. It is a uh, surface electromyography scan. And we're going to be able to perform that. It measures the electrical activity of the muscles okay. that are adjacent or next to the spine. Okay. It tells us where there may be problems, what the level is. Okay. And it's amazing how often that correlates with, oh yeah, I've had back pain or leg pain or whatever. And then we offer the patient to, uh, or the person to come in as, uh, as a patient. Now being at the Women's Expo, mm -hmm. I do a lot of charitable work. I've been in practice for over 30 years, yeah. and I like to give back to the community. Yeah. So at different times, um, February, for example, it was Heart Month. Right. And so okay. we, have, we have a charity that we support, Save a Child's Heart Endowment Fund. Oh, and great. Different charities, different times, of, different times of the year. And typically what we do is for a donation to a, char to a particular charity that we're supporting, okay. I will donate my, my examination, which includes the history, the evaluation, the x-rays, and the next day's report of findings. Oh, great. You do something um, here in the office where you can, you're also sort of giving back. Um, every month there's a different theme of things that you do, and March is Nutrition Month right. worldwide, but you're also doing something special here in the office. We are, and I don't remember, I think it's on Thursday nights. Okay. We're doing nutritional consultations to have private half-hour interview 
with, uh, with the individual. Okay. Um, and we're doing that two Thursdays, and the other two Thursdays we're having talks. Okay. So I'll be talking about different nutrition-related topics. That's great. We do a spinal care class called How to Stay Young for the First 100 Years. <laughs> Awesome. People say, I don't want to live a hundred years. I do. <laughs> but I'll tell, I'll ask them, if you could live pain free, if you could live and be functional, I'm a doctor of function, a doctor yeah. of mobility. If you could be mobile, if yeah. you could play tennis or whatever it is you do, not necessarily as fast as you did when you were 20, but if you could do all those things, would you then want to live to be a hundred? Well, sure. Mm -hmm. And that's all doable. Yeah. So I work with the person. Right. I don't work with the spine. I don't work with the knee. Okay. I don't treat, I don't treat Digestion, I treat, I work with the person. Yes. We heal or put, no doctor again heals anything. Right. We allow, we give the patient, the, the person, the things that they need, the tools that they need to heal themselves, for the body to heal itself. Yes, my, my philosophy in, in, in treating is it's your body, it's your health, it's your choice. Very good. Awesome. So Dr. Barron is also doing some, you just do, speaking engagements and you're always making yourself available for different things throughout the community. I love to speak. I love to go to church groups or, or work at, we love to go into workplaces. We'll do a, uh, uh, come in and do a lunch and learn where we come in and, and talk about a particular topic and, like and have a little lunch. And, That's very and, good. Uh, again, different groups in the evenings. Yes, awesome. Well, thank you. Dr. Brand has just been such a treat to meet today. Um, I, I can't wait for everybody to come out to the expo and meet you. Um, let's, let's just, I guess, wrap up with the question of the day. Sure. Would. Okay. Question of the day. Food for thought. Okay. What, is, what to you is optimum health? Mm. How do you describe optimum health? Very good. Okay, guys, well, you know what to do. Let's please post your comments down below and get a little interaction going there. Um, I think I know what my answer is, but I might have changed my mind today. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Our passion truly is your passion, and together as a community, we hope to go out there and help one more person live their dream. Thanks for watching.